Welcome everyone to our 6 p.m. meditation here at First Unity Spiritual Campus. From wherever you are watching, whatever time it is, welcome for all of you online. Please remember we also have our noon Wednesday meditation as well as our 11 a.m. Sunday meditation out in the chapel. So please make sure to join us whenever you can. And I would also like to welcome Liz Gregovitz on the beautiful sound bowls. She'll be healing us with that vibration for the whole hour. So make sure to just take that in. Uh, I also want to remind you that everyone here this evening, the Reiki practitioners and everyone are here as volunteers but we still have to pay the light bill. So please, as you leave, if you could bless us with your financial abundance, we would appreciate that. And please remember, if you would like a Reiki healing this evening, to put the cord on your shoulder and one of those practitioners will step up to you throughout the hour and gently uh, heal you. Oh. oh. Is my mic not close to my mouth? I apologize. Is that better? I hear me now, too. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for letting me know. So, once again, if you want that Reiki healing tonight, put the cord on your shoulder and someone will step up to you and, and you'll receive that. So, thank you so much for joining us. And if you just want to sit and relax into your seat... And just take in some deep breaths. Allow your lungs to fill all the way to the bottom. And feel your stomach moving out as your lungs fill up. Just let your belly expand. Hold it for just a few seconds. And then let all that air out. And allow your belly to get smaller as you release all that air. Just give yourself three really deep breaths like that, filling your belly all the way up and your lungs all the way up to the bottom as deeply as you can. Holding it for just these few seconds and releasing it all. Just allow yourself to become centered right here, right now in this very room, this very moment in time. October happens to be my birthday month, so I'm gonna share with you some of my birthday poems. And you just continue to breathe, continue to allow those singing bowls and that vibration to just drift over you, allowing every cell of your body to take it in Take in the vibration, take in the breath, and allow the Reiki practitioners to put their healing hands close to you, knowing that you are right where you belong. You are living and breathing in spirit, right here, right now. Breathe that in. Know it for yourself. Know that life and love surround you. Joy and peace abide within you. Peace and patience are yours with just a few deep breaths. Continue to allow yourself to go deeper, deeper into the oneness, deeper into divine love, deeper into the connection that you have with all that is, all that surrounds you, the air, the water, the ground and the vibrations 
and all those in the room, in the city, and on the planet. Feel how your connection reaches out and touches. Feel how those connections reach out and brush up against you. Breathe them in. And if you're comfortable, allow yourself to just drift in this oneness. My head says right, but my hand says no. The thoughts and the pain sometimes just need somewhere to flow. My heart says yes. My head says, oh no. You think pain from the past would tell me to go slow. My life has been such a merry-go-round. And I just keep praying for the truth to be found. If we could learn to share the love in our heart, then this new beautiful world would be off to a start. If we'd start seeing everything as sacred and divine, then I'm sure our world will be just fine. I just need to do all that I can to prepare this world for his master plan. Not destruction and poverty, suffering and strife, but loving, caring spirits, reaching for and sharing a peaceful life. So picture that right now, loving, caring spirits, reaching for and sharing a peaceful life. Allow yourself to feel that world, to know that it's right here at our fingertips, as we see it in our heart and in our soul, we have to picture it, we have to know it to be so for us to manifest it in our world. And so for a few short moments, we allow ourselves to outpicture this divine new world, one where peace, love and divinity rule breathe it in now know it to be so Know for yourself, I am one with divine love. I am one with source.
one day people everywhere will learn to live and breathe as one will learn to listen and care for 40 awesome years I've poured my life onto this page and the question still remains does life really get better with age my heart my soul my spirit that's all I had to give my only prayer is that they've taught me a better way to live. And so I continue to connect with Source, to be grateful for every step of my journey, knowing that every obstacle that's been put in my path has been put there for my own growth, for the lessons that I've been in need of, and yes, sometimes I've had the same lesson over and over and over. And I've had to be hit with what one of my teachers told me was a cosmic two by four. And that's okay. Because now I sit in the silence and I allow myself to let the lesson sink in. Knowing that each step has been divinely guided knowing that each lesson was just for me. And so I open up and I allow. I allow my healing. I allow my wisdom to come forth. And I allow myself to release what no longer serves me. And with each breath, I let go a little more. And I open up a little more. And I allow myself to be filled with more light. With each breath. Allow the love of God to unfold you. The power of God to protect you. And the presence of God to watch over you. Knowing that you too are a part of that presence. 
that presence is a part of you. And breathe it in. Knowing that wherever you go, God goes. Wherever you are, spirit is. And breathe in that knowing. Feel your heart releasing any old hurts, any unforgiveness, any anger. Allow yourself to know that each of these circumstances offers you a chance to see from a new perspective, to offer yourself a new healing a divine lesson and breathe in that new perspective now. Allow yourself to see from someone else's viewpoint or maybe from the outside. Allow yourself to be blessed with a new understanding of your old story. It's 49 years and counting on this planet we call Earth. After all the affirmations, some days I still doubt my own worth. Denying all the negative, releasing all that's wrong, as the words fall on the paper to create another song. Believe me when I tell you, life does get better with age. I'll share some of my lessons, although I'm not a sage. When you can learn to respond instead of to react, when you can see the illusion instead of believing every so-called fact. When you can feel your oneness and can release your doubt and fear. That's when we learn to live in love and make our intentions clear. Believe in the power of forgiving. Believe in the power of love. Start to feel that spiritual energy because that's what we're each made of. So allow that energy now to just swirl around and in and through you. Knowing that forgiving is for your own benefit and only yours. 
knowing that love is all that you are. And breathe it in. Know that Spirit Divine has been with you every step of the way. Has helped you, supported you, saved you. So give thanks right now. Give thanks for each blessing. Give thanks for each lesson. Give thanks for every ounce of love in your life. From your family, to your friends, to your pets. To the acquaintances that you pass on the street. to your neighbors, the people that work at your grocery store that you visit. The people that you just happen to notice when you go to the pool or to the beach. Make it a habit of connecting with them eye to eye, sending them a little blessing, a little prayer. Whether they notice you or not, that's okay. Send them a quiet blessing, giving thanks for them, for their gifts, for their love in this world knowing that we're all put here for our own purpose, our own reason. And give thanks for every divine person, every divine creature, every divine plant. Give thanks every day it, with every opportunity The more you have to give thanks for, somehow the more there is that comes into your life, even more to be thankful for. So as we quit dwelling on what it is we don't want, we spend more time dwelling on what it is we do want and how blessed we feel. We notice our world being filled with even more blessings, with even more of the good stuff that we do want. And those circumstances and those people that can be sandpaper to our soul, they just fall away because we're no longer giving them attention. And so allow yourself in these quiet moments to dwell on what it is you feel blessed with, on the love, the light, the peace, the joy, Let your mind dwell on these things.
feel those vibrations as they surround you. They penetrate every cell of your being. Know that you are love. Know that you need no one or nothing outside of yourself to be the love that you seek. You just need to share the love that's already inside of you. Love isn't love till you give it away. So give it away, share it. And know that the more that you share, the more you get back. Know that love is all you are. Love is who you are. And allow yourself to be, let love be how you show up in every moment of every day. Loving, peaceful, forgiving, accepting, I sit here at 50, look back at my life. I've been a mother and a grandmother, but I've yet to be a wife. 
And why does it matter that I walk this world alone? When after all the crazy drama, some days I feel my heart has turned to stone. And although I know everything happens for a reason, I still sit here wondering why. Why some can be so cruel and not even look you in the eye. I can choose to see fear and confusion everywhere I look. Or I can focus on the joy and blessings and let everyone off the hook. And so to make room for my blessings, I now release all the debt and the pain. I know all my forgiveness allows pers personal and spiritual gain. When my heart is open, allowing spirit to freely flow, I know each interaction allows us all to grow. We just need to change our perspective so we can see what the other is seeing. Because when we realize it's just our a perception, uh, can be so incredibly freeing. So allow yourself to see from a new perspective, to maybe see what the other is seeing Allow yourself to release any debt, any doubt, and any pain. Make room for your blessings. Let go of any judgment you may have had toward another or toward any situation you may have found yourself in in the past where you labeled it as bad or yourself as a loser and see it now from a new perspective. See how you gained new wisdom, new knowledge, and new understanding from that experience or from that person. Allow yourself to be grateful for those life lessons right now. And although maybe some of those relationships have ended, not a one of them was a failure. Each one brought you closer to where you are right here and right now. Each one gave you new perspective. Each one allows you right now in this moment to offer forgiveness to all those involved. Forgiveness to yourself as well for your part. And allow your heart now to heal for any pain you may have caused. For any words you may have spoke or not spoken when you wished you had for any action you may have taken or not taken that you wished you had. Forgive yourself right here and right now.
know in this very moment you need do nothing. Your body breathes you. Your cells multiply without you thinking about it. Your thoughts race through your brain. There's nothing you can do. Just quiet your mind now. Give thanks that your body does what it needs to do. Give thanks that this divine source keeps you safe, secure. And just be right here and right now. Right here, right now, know that every thought, every word, every action creates the world you live in. And when you start to believe in the oneness of all, that's when your new life will begin. Because how could you hurt another when you see they're part of you? What more do I need to say to just help you get a clue? I want you to see what I see. I want you to know what I know. You just need to change each thought. So you really don't have far to go. When you forgive all that's past and you realize you get what you give, then it helps to create the place that you live. Give thanks for all the blessings, even before they appear. With daily affirmations, you have nothing to fear. I hope that by now the picture is clear. Live in the awareness of your oneness. Believe in the power of the all. And know that when you're ready, we need you to answer your call. 
So dream your biggest dream. Reach for the stars. Help work together at taking down the bars. Know that only your perspective changes everything. So when you wake up tomorrow, what a smile that should bring. So allow yourself right here and now to give yourself permission to see from a new perspective, to release that old way of thinking, that old way of judging and maybe pointing the finger or not accepting certain people, places or things. And allow yourself now to accept any and all beings into the oneness, right here and right now. Feel how that feels, knowing that we are all part of this divine oneness. Knowing that those, believe, those who believe like you belong here, and those that don't believe like you are also welcome. They're also part of this divine oneness. And breathe that in. Whether they look differently, act differently, think differently, it doesn't matter. Believe differently. Whether they're from a different part of the world or a different part of the state, different part of the country, doesn't matter. They too are divine. Breathe that in. Everyone is part of this oneness. Allow that to resonate. Allow that to permeate every cell of your being. Myself to release my anger over other people's differences of opinions. I now allow myself to release my fear over other people's differences in their belief. myself to release my fear over other people's differences in their appearances, in their mannerisms, and in their way of speaking. And I accept them now, every, each and every one of them, into the oneness right here and right now. And I say, welcome, welcome. Welcome one and all.
as my heart heals from any past transgressions or separations I may have felt, I now allow myself to feel part of this oneness as well. Breathe it in. Sink into it. Surround yourself with it. And let the vibration of the singing bowls heal any past thoughts of separation and allow oneness to be all that is in your heart and in your mind as we relax in the silence of these singing bowls. one with your heart. My breath is one with your breath. And our lives are so intertwined that we walk together maybe for a reason maybe for a season, maybe for a lifetime. But as we journey together, we allow each other to see the divinity that we each are. We allow each other to see our hearts And we walk hand in hand. And in this way, our neighbors see and feel the light that emanates from us as individuals, as a community, as a species. And we can continue to connect heart to heart. And we say thank you, Spirit, for all those who you place on our path. All those who you put here to help us to remind us how divine we are, how divine everyone is.
that we're not lost. We've always been part of the oneness. There's just sometimes that we forget. And so we say thank you for this gentle reminder this evening. For this feeling of connection. For being surrounded by this divine love. For this beautiful hour. For feeling the rhythm of the singing bowls as it penetrates our heart and our soul and our cells, allowing ourselves to feel the connection of the air between us. And we breathe it in a few more moments. And when you're ready, Gently open your outer eyes. Feel yourself on the chair that you're sitting in. Wiggle your fingers and toes and bring yourself back to the room. And allow yourself to be present in this very moment, at this very time. And say thank you, Spirit. Thank you for allowing me to feel and be in the oneness and for accepting all others into the oneness as well. So it is. Amen. Namaste, dear ones. Thank you. Love you too, Mickey.